Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Steve on the night today. Now I got a few videos about the coconuts. Coconut milk and coconut oil and coconut water. Loads of them. In this one, what you get in every hundred grams of coconut is three thousand three hundred amino acids, fifteen thousand carbohydrates, thirty-three thousand saturated. 30, 360 lauric acid, 16,000. Now, it's got capric acid, 6,500. Unsaturated linoleic acid, monosaturated oleic acid. The minerals, calcium and iron, 14 to 2.4. That's milligrams per 100 grams. Phosphorus, 113. Zinc, 1.1. Manganese, magnesium. It's one and a half and 32 effect, respectively. And magnesium's nickname is the light of life, because without it, the light of life goes out. You've got 0.4 of copper, 440 of potassium, you've got vitamin B1, 0.1 vitamin B2, 0.02, B3, 0.5, B5, 0.3, 3.3 of vitamin C. That's not bad in 100 grams of coconut. The health benefits of coconut milk is attributed to its high content of lauric and capric acid. Now on the immune system, the coconut milk inhibits and kills many times of detrimental bacteria including Chlamydia trachomatis, Heliobacter pylori, Haemophilus influenza, Listeria monocytogenes, Neisseria gonorrhea, Staphylococcus aureus, Staphylococcus epidermis. I take it epidermis is the skin. Then it goes on, there's a whole massive page of it. Candida albicans, one of the worst things you can get, apart from medication from the doctor made by the pharmacist. <laughs> it could be a joke. Then you got deactivate coconut milk deactivates lipid coated viruses, including the HIV virus, which causes acquired immune deficiency syndrome (AIDS), Cytomegalococcus (CMV), herpes simplex (herpes simplex type one), herpes simplex type two, the measles virus. Coconut milk contains these substances. Milligrams of substance per 100 grams is there's quite a bit of stuff here, isn't that? As you can see, I've come to the scenic part of the Leighton Mills. A bit of grass, what well, was green once, so you see a bit of green there. And there's the railway station. Going on round, there's a the road going west. And there's some high-tech buildings. Yeah. Anyway, it's speculated to convert or facilitate the conversion of cholesterol to pregnenone. It contains these fatty acids, medium chain 62,000, and capric acid 7,000. Caprylic acid, lauric acid, saturated long chain acids like myrstic acid. Palmitic acid, monosaturated, polyunsaturated, linoleic, vitamin E, 1.1, alpha tocopherol, 0.5, delta tocopherol, 0.6. And it goes on a couple more gamma tocotrienol. Now, storage. Coconut oil is resistant to rancidity, a lipoproxion per oxidation than most other edible oils and has hence a much longer shelf life compared to other dietary oils. Coconut oil has been kept at room temperature for a year, has been tested for rancidity and shown no evidence of it. Here's a couple of myths to felt this belt. Unlike other dietary oils, coconut oil does not contribute to the cardiovascular diseases. How to prepare coconut milk from fresh coconuts? Pierce the eyes of a fresh coconut, drain the liquid inside and place the coconut on a rack and bake in a 325 degrees 
Fahrenheit preheated oven for about 30 minutes. Remove the coconut from the oven and let it cool for a bit. Otherwise you'll burn your hands. And in it you've got lipids, lauric acid and capric acid. Now the coconut oil. Oops, I'm going back onto page three or four. Anyhow, you let it cool a bit. And once it's cooled, you smash it open. You can smash it open with a hammer so that the shell breaks into several pieces. Remove all the coconut meat from the shell. Peel off the brown skin and cut the meat into very small cubes. Place the meat in a blender and add hot water. Just cover all the meat and blend until finely grated. Have a sieve and cover it with a cheesecloth over a bowl. Pour the coconut meat and water into the sieve. And as it's in there, it's gone on the cheesecloth so you can just squeeze it together and get as much liquid as possible into the bowl. Discard the coconut meat that's been squeezed. Refrigerate the coconut milk that's been extracted into the bowl. Refrigerate the milk and use within one to two days. Preparing it from fresh, desiccated, packaged coconut. Empty eight ounce pack of unsweetened co desiccated coconut into a blender. Add one cup of boiling water. Blend for 30 seconds. Allow the mix to cool a bit. Place a sieve over a bowl lined with a cheesecloth. Now that's the sieve that's lined with a cheesecloth. Ladle the mixture into the cheesecloth. Fold the edges and squeeze. And do the same as before. Refrigerate the milk used within a couple of days. Now, yeah, there's a lot more on this. There's going to be a few videos. I've got two packs of information here. Lauric acid is a major fatty acid from the fat of the coconut. has been recognised for its unique properties that lend it to non-food juices in the soaps and cosmetics industry. More recently, it's been recognised for its unique properties in food juice, which is related to its antiviral, antibacterial, anti-protozoal functions. Now, capric acid has been added to the list. These are found in the largest amounts only in traditional lauric fats, especially from coconut. Now, it's about 63% of the coconut is fat. Now, it's helps the forming. Loads of stuff on there. As a functional food, fatty acids provide both energy, nutrients, raw material, for antimicrobial fatty acids, and monoglycerides as functional components. When it's eaten, desiccated coconut is about 69% coconut fat. As it's creamed, coconut, coconut milk is 24%. Approximately 50% of the fatty acids in coconut are lauric. Lauric acid is a medium chain acid which has the added beneficial function of being formed into monolaurin in the human or animal body. Now, monolaurin is antiviral, antibacterial, antiprozole, monoglyceride used by humans and animals to destroy lipid coated viruses such as HIV, herpes. Cytomegalovirus, influenza, various pathogenic viruses, viruses including Listeria, Helibacter, and Protoa, such as Guardia Lambia. Alright, that's roughly it for today. Now, although you've known all this since '99, very little seems to have gone in the mainstream, especially about its effect against herpes and AIDS and other stuff unless it's all been kept very quiet and all of a sudden look what we've discovered they say and once they discovered it they find a way to manufacture it they package it in a nice packet and put the price right up all in some things have heard good for you and it's been approved by the health system for use within there the price trebles until it's almost out of reach of the ordinary person. Right.
the rest is just all the studies I've done. As is, don't believe me on anything. All I am is a starting point for you to do your own research. Nothing else. So, be careful with the stuff you use. It might seem like it's only coconut, but when you start processing it, it becomes something else. Now, if you can get a coconut cream, that is 64% of fatty acids, medium chains, which is quite a lot. So, hey, it's up to you. Do your research. Anyway, I'm going to go up and put my stuff away in the bag. Yes, there's the bag. Then get ready to go to the gym. It shouldn't be too long away. Do me 40 minutes. And go to work. Anyhow, have a great day. And speak to you tomorrow. Bye.